hey guys welcome back to my channel let's just get straight to it i'll be talking during the whole video so i'm gonna just go ahead and start boring you right now <laughs> okay so uh today i will be showing you guys how i panel my square cakes and i will also be placing a link below showing you how i frost my square cakes so that way you guys can view that video before this one or after either one so as you can see uh the first thing that i do i add uh fondant to the top of the cake and then i flip it over a lot of people get nervous about this part but i do it because it gives me a nice clean sharp edge on my cakes i do this for my square cakes and my round cakes so i go all the way around and uh while you're watching me do that i also want to make note that my cake is frozen that's why i'm able to manhandle it the way <laughs> the way i do okay so i don't know how this will work with a refrigerated uh buttercream cake so just to let you know this cake is completely frozen so when i flip and do all this stuff nothing is smushing as you can see and also before i add my fondant to my cake i have lightly brushed each side with water i just use the pastry brush with water so there we have the top now we're going to start applying the sides so you don't see it here in the video but i have uh i've cut out all the fondant for each side of the cake so i just have them sitting on cake drums ready to go and the white stuff that's on my fondant is cornstarch i use cornstarch to roll out all my fondant uh, you can use the fondant smoother, but I like to use my hands, my fingers to smooth, as you can see, because I'm feeling for air bubbles. Um, a lot of people say they have air bubbles in their uh, fondant and stuff. I use my fingers to feel that. If I feel it, I could push it up, push it upwards and get rid of it. Or you can also use a pin, a small pin to pop them. So i'm not sure if you noticed but i was able to lift this piece of fondant up almost looked like a sheet of paper the reason why is because i pop my slabs of fondant slabs <laughs> my fondant sheets <laughs> into the freezer for about five minutes before applying them to the cake that's why they're able to stand up and i'm showing as you can see here they're standing up on their own they're not wobbly now what will happen is uh as time goes on you got to kind of move fast it does soften up really quickly even though i popped it in the freezer the fondant will soften up on you but while it's still firm you'll see when i spin the cake around what i'm doing now i'm taking a ruler and that's how i'm going to get that straight nice sharp edge on the side of the cake so here you're going to see it i put the ruler behind see it's, it's softening up on me a little bit you could kind of tell but the ruler helps um basically it's like a guide to help you cut straight perfect lines clean lines so here i am i did the other side now i'm doing this side and here we're going to do the last side now i'm gonna jump ahead a little bit I normally uh, do the same thing to the top. I won't use the ruler, which you're gonna see in the video, um, how that's gonna be done. But the fondant started to soften up here. And you can see right here, yep, it started softening up. So what I'm gonna do is, because I want a nice, clean, sharp edge and I don't want the fondant to drag, I'm gonna pop this cake in the fridge for about five minutes. So I popped it in the fridge, now I took it out. Now here I'm gonna do the top and it's much firm, it's not soft. And I use the top of the cake as a guide. And if you look, see the fondant didn't drag or anything at the corners. It's nice and good. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. It was kind of awkward uh, cutting off my sides because I'm recording and the camera. I can't really, you know, put my elbow out like I wanted to because the camera was in the way. So you're going to see i i am going to make some mistakes on this cake um and i'm kind of glad it showed up because uh, a lot of people feel like 
you know, cake, cake making is perfect and it's not, it's not perfect all the time. So here I am showing you, here's a frozen, this was in the freezer, five minutes and I could just lift it up. There we go. And I use my hands, my fingers, I'm feeling for air bubbles. Like I said, you can also use a um, fondant smoother whatever works best for you. And it's this fondant was pretty um pretty firm. So I went ahead and I'm going to clean up my edge now while it's still firm. So when you pop your fondant in the freezer, when you take it out, you want to work fast cuz it will soften up on you pretty quickly. But it is a great hack to know when dealing with square cakes and getting sharp edges, um, it's just good to know. So hopefully that's helpful. Some people sit their slabs out, slab of fondant out and let it stiffen up at, you know, just sitting out on their countertop. I pop it in the freezer because I got to go. I got stuff to do. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I have other cakes, you know, so in order to keep the rotation going and flowing, this, this is the quickest way that I find. So here is the mistake I made. I cut off way too much on two corners. This corner, and I think there's going to be another corner. I did the same thing. You don't want to do that. Um, good thing about this cake, though, is I will be covering the cake with the edible image. I will be making another video. It'll be a part two, and it, it's, it's going to be a hack. It's going to be a really easy hack on how to decorate marble cakes so stay tuned for that so i'm not too worried about my buttercream peeking through on the corners but when you're doing this and if you know that you're not going to be covering your fondant with anything any type of decorations any type of edible images just be sure that you cut properly so you don't see any uh buttercream peeking through and like i said i think this only happened because i didn't have enough elbow room <laughs> So I couldn't see clearly. I have this bright light and then this uh, camera. So we all we all make mistakes, and you know, cake is so forgiving. We can always decorate it. If I needed to, I would have figured out a way to decorate the corners some kind of way to hide that. We definitely can't patch it up with fondant. I'll tell you that much. So don't try that. So I did the same thing I did on the other side. Something else I didn't mention, when I panel my square cakes, I always panel the sides, the left and the right sides first. Then I panel the front and the back. That way you don't see any seams when you're looking straight at the cake, if that makes sense. So if you do it that way, you'll only have seams on the left and right sides of the cake. But... In this case, it didn't really matter because, like I said, I will be covering this cake up. You won't see it in this video. You'll see it in the next one that I post right after this. I'll even come back and link it below, the part two. And then now I just come now with the fondant smoother and just making sure everything's good to go. And there you have it, a nice, what should be seamless <laughs> fondant square cake. Hope that helps.